It's the Roy Rogers Show. Happy trails to you. It's nice to meet again. Happy trails to you. Until the journey's end. Most Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal, brings you the Roy Rogers Show, transcribed on the Double R Bar Ranch with Pat Brady and the Queen of the West, Day 11. Happy trails to you. Time to ride again. And here he is, in person, the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers. Well, howdy, folks. You know, being a cowboy, you need lots of energy. That's why Grape Nuts Flakes is the cereal I like for strength and energy. Just two minutes after you eat a big bowl full, that whole wheat energy starts going to work for you. Try Grape Nuts Flakes Buckaroos. They're great. And now, here's our story. The hard-packed clay road from the Double R Bar Ranch to Mineral City is only a mildly busy thoroughfare this morning. The travelers are a lithe German shepherd dog covering the ground with smooth, driving strides, a magnificent golden palomino cantering along with rippling power in reserve, and mounted on the horse, a happy, carefree cowboy. Oh, give me land, lots of land under starry skies above. Don't fence me it. Hey, what's the matter, Bullet? Don't you like the concert? It's free. Hey, I've heard you howling, and compared to that, this is grand opera. Let me ride through the wide open country that I love. Don't fence me. Whoa, whoa, Trigger. Whoa, boy. Someone's in trouble just around the bend. Get there fast, Bullet. Hurry up, Trigger. Come on, boy. That was a woman's voice. Who in the world would be out? Coming, ma'am. Over there. Go after him, boy. Good dog. Whoa, Trigger. Whoa, boy. Oh, what's the matter, ma'am? Right over there. Well, that dog was just in time. Wow. A rattler and a granddaddy-sized one. Stick with him, Bullet. Oh, I was simply paralyzed. Heck, can the dog handle it? Well, he's doing a pretty good job of it. I don't want that snake to nick him with his fangs, though. Bullet, let go, boy. Let go of him. But the snake, it isn't dead yet. Well, he will be. Come back here, Bullet. <laughs> now. Mister, you hit him with all four shots. I don't know how to thank you. I'm glad we happened along. Those rattlers are mighty dangerous critters. You oughtn't to be walking out here alone. Well, I, I didn't start out walking. I, I was riding a horse I wasn't used to, and when he saw the snake, he reared and threw me and ran away. Are you hurt? Oh, no, but I landed practically on that snake, and I, I was so frightened for a moment I could scarcely move. Which way were you heading, ma'am? I want to get to Mineral City as soon as I can, but if you'd like to look for your horse... Mine doesn't mind carrying double. Well, I, I was riding to Mineral City, and I imagine the horse will head for the livery stable there. That's where I rented him. Well, climb up here behind me, then. I'll take you in. My name's Roy Rogers. Roy? Oh, I'm glad to know you, Mr. Rogers. My name's Jane Farmer. I passed by your place a little while ago. Here, let me help you up. This is Trigger and my dog's bullet. While I don't generally care much for rattlesnakes... I'm sort of glad that one happened to be out here. Dale, I can't imagine what's in this darn package. The label's torn so I can't even see where it come from. But it's your address to me, all right. Well, why don't you open it and find out, Pat? Say, this is interesting. I'm not going to open it because I can't remember ordering anything. Now, let me mm, well, see. what do you know? Sophie Jacobs finally got married. Gee, this paper's wonderful. What's so wonderful about a three-week-old newspaper? I wish I knew what was in this package. Well, it's my hometown paper, that's all, and it's news to me, even if it is three weeks old. Package is too big to be spark plugs. It ain't heavy enough to be a new motor. Hey, here's something Roy will be interested in. Ed Rawson died in the state prison. He was 60 years old. I could use a new cowboy straw hat, but I don't remember ordering one. Who was Ed Rawson? Why, don't you remember? 
He was the leader of that rustling gang that almost wiped out the cattle industry in Paradise Valley three years ago. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, once Roy got after him, he didn't do much more rustling. Oh, here's Roy now. He certainly... Well, who's the girl riding on trigger with him, Pat? I don't know, but she sure is mighty pretty. Pretty? Well, look at how dusty her clothes are. Hey, if Roy doesn't know any better than to pick up hitchhikers, well... If she's a hitchhiker? I wish me and Nellie Bell had been driving down the road. Boy. Oh, hi there, Dale, Pat. Hi, Roy. Good morning. Uh, this is Jane Farmer. Jane, these are my two best friends, Dale Evans and Pat Brady. Hello, how do? How do you do? Jane's horse reared and threw her, and, well, we just happened along. Happened along in the nick of time. Roy saved me from the biggest rattlesnake I've ever seen. Oh, bullet really did it. Well, that's very interesting, I'm sure. Pat, the boys are rounding up the steers we're going to drive to the terminal. Uh, are you and Nellie Bell about ready to leave? Well... I can't let Pat leave until at least 11 o'clock. If he's going to be gone all day, he'll have to cook the ready dishes for lunch and supper. Well, I guess we don't have to start until about 11. I'd better go back to the ranch, though, and make sure the boys got the right critters. Did you come all the way into town just to turn around and go back? Sure, it was a nice morning for a ride. Miss Farmer, if you want me to take you down to the livery stable, I... Oh, no, I'd... thanks, no, Roy. It's right in this block, and I'll walk. I uh, think maybe I'll have a sandwich or something first. Will you join me? Roy, if you're so worried about your hands cutting out the wrong stock, I think you'd probably better be going back. Yeah, maybe I'd better. You get out there as soon as you can, though, Pat. I hope I see you again sometime, Miss Farmer. Oh, you will, Roy. You can be sure of that. And, uh, thanks. So long, Dale. Oh, uh, Dale, why don't you close the cafe and make the cattle drive with Pat and the boys and me this afternoon? Thank you. But you know a business girl can't just go gallivanting around the country. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Hmm. So that's Roy Rogers. Strange, he seems like a nice fellow. He certainly is a nice fellow, and if I were you... If I were you, I'd try the hamburgers. Hey, I wonder if I ought to open this package. Well, I'll be darned. Pat Brady, a box full of fireworks. What in the world are you up to? Oh, I remember now. I ordered them for last Fourth of July, and they didn't come. And then they didn't come for Thanksgiving, and then they didn't come for Christmas, and I just... <laughs> I just plum forgot all about them. <laughs> of all the ridiculous things. Well, you just go drive the cattle now, if you like. First thing I know, you'll be lighting one of these skyrockets and wrecking the place. Well, if you're sure you don't need me anymore, Dale, I, I know Roy's anxious to get started. Wait a minute. There's that Jane Farmer creature again. Where? Right across the street. She seems to have rented another horse. And look who she's stopping to talk to. Marty Fraser. Dale, why don't you quit picking on Miss Farmer? So she's talking to a sort of a bum, so what? Marty Fraser's the most disreputable character in town. And if she knows him... Dale, you got no call to be jealous of Roy. He saved the girl from a rattlesnake and brought her into town, and that's probably the end of it. I doubt it very much. She told Roy she'd see him again. And look there. She's handing that Fraser fellow an envelope or something. And he's riding one way and she's riding the other. Forget it, Dale. I'm going to saddle Buttermilk and follow that farmer woman. I'm going to find out what she's up to. Well, have fun. I know me and Roy and Nellie Bell's going to. Well, all right, then. Go about your fun and take your fireworks with you. <laughs> It's all set up, Mike. Rogers is making a cattle drive today, and I've picked a perfect spot to waylay him. Am I supposed to shoot him down right in front of his waddies? Of course not. I've sent him a note asking him to ride off and meet me alone as the cattle are going down the draw. I don't mind killing him, but I can't get caught. I'm wanted in too many places. No one will see you, and there's a perfect place to dispose of his body. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. You ought to. I guess your father taught you plenty about dodging the law. You leave my father out of this. I'm paying you to do a job, not for conversation. Hey, wait. Mike, what's the matter with you? I thought I heard something. If the law followed me here, The I... law doesn't know you're in town, and no one could find this cabin. Come back in here and close the door. Right. I guess I hired the right man. You're certainly trigger happy. I hate the law and anyone who's on the law's side. Now, when do I get the rest of my thousand dollars? You get your money when Roy Rogers is dead. 
just lucky that door opens outward. If I only knew where. But I can't stay here. If I could just ride to the ranch in time to warn Roy. <laughs> How about them? How about them? How about those grape nuts? Flakes? How about those grape nuts? How about them? How about them? How about those grape nuts? Flakes? They are so good, good for you too. They do need an energy worse for you. So how about them? How about them? How about grape nuts? Flakes? Yep. How about those grape nuts? Flakes? Take an old hands advice, partners. Tomorrow, when you roll out of your bunk, corral a bowl full of that great energy given cereal, grape nuts flakes. Grape Nuts Flakes are called the great two-minute energy cereal because two minutes after you polish off a bowlful, their powerhouse whole wheat energy starts to go to work for you. That's the kind of quick energy you fellas and gals need. You'll go for Grape Nuts Flakes sugar-roasted flavor. It's delicious. So ask Mom to get you Grape Nuts Flakes, the two-minute energy cereal. Look for Roy's picture on the front of the package. Roy Rogers saves an attractive young woman from a huge poisonous rattlesnake. He leaves her in Mineral City and rides back to prepare for a cattle drive. But Dale does not trust the strange girl. She follows her and hears... You'll get your money when Roy Rogers is dead. Meanwhile, Roy and Pat are at the Double R Bar Ranch. Hey, Pat, why don't you take a horse? We want to get the cattle to the terminal before night. Oh, you go on ahead, then. Me and Nella Bell will catch up with you. I'll have her running again in no time at all. You're anxious to get started on account of that note you got, ain't you? Well, sure, sort of. Uh, Dale's pretty jealous, Roy. Oh, that's silly, Pat. You can see Miss Farmer's a nice kid, and I was lucky enough to be passing by when she needed help. But she could never mean to me what Dale does. Sure, I know that, but... Who is she, anyway? I don't know. She told me she had something to do in Paradise Valley. Then she'll be on her way again. Well, Pat, if you're still going to try to fix that Jeep, the boys now get started. The cattle are getting restless. Okay, Roy. I, I don't know just what's wrong with Nellie Bell this time, but I've got her going hundreds of times before. Her and me will probably be with you in, oh, 15, 20 minutes, because once she starts, there's no stopping this here, little beauty. <laughs> There. Nellie Bell, I hope you'll forgive me. I don't know why I didn't think to turn on the ignition before. <laughs> well, maybe Dale and Buttermilk decide to go with us after all. Whoa, whoa, Buttermilk. Pat, where's Roy? Oh, he and the boys started out with Herd about an hour ago. That note we saw Jane Farmer give to Fraser, it was meant for Roy. Yeah, I know it. And he got it. Oh, you mustn't worry about that girl, Dale. If you'd have heard what Roy just told me before Not you... Not worry got... about her. Pat, that woman's trying to kill Roy. She sent the note to lure him into a trap. Do you know if he's planning to meet her? Yeah, he figured he'd ride up the slope to Keyhole Bluff while the herd was going through the draw. The note said she had something to show him. What she's going to show him is a hired gunman whose job is to get Roy in his sights and then shoot. Pat, we've got to get to Keyhole Bluff before Roy does. Golly, the herd will be almost there but now. Hey, wait, I know a shortcut. It'll bring us out on that big hill just across the draw from the bluff, and we can get there in ten minutes. Come on, Nellie Bell! Who, 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 Trigger? Uh, Hi there, Miss Farmer. Hello, Roy. You got my note? Yes, I did. It's lucky we planned to drive through the draw down there. I can't stay long because Pat's not with us yet. And it's a pretty big herd for just two men and bullet to handle. Well, it was nice of you to come. How'd you get out here? I rode. My horse is on the other side of that jutting rock. Why don't you hop down and walk over there with me? Sure. Come along, Trigger. Oh, this is such fascinating country, that that rock standing out alone on this slope. And, and behind it, there's sort of a well. I dropped a stone in it, and I never heard it land. That's bottomless well. It probably leads to a deep underground river. Mm. And that strange red bluff behind it, a sheer mile-long cliff with just one opening in it. Well, that's what they call the keyhole. Beyond, it's just a small, rugged box canyon. And my horse is right around the rock here. Fine. Now, what did you want to show me? This man. Get those hands up before I blast it. He means it. Now, I'll take your guns. 
Miss Farmer, you sure had me fooled. I'd never have figured you for one of Black Mike's stick-up gang. This isn't a stick-up, and I'm not Jane Farmer. All right, who are you? I'm Jane Rawson, Ed Rawson's daughter. I guess I see what you're driving at. I sent your father to prison, but a rustler has prison coming. My father died in prison three weeks ago. Maybe he was a rustler, but I loved him. I'm sorry, Miss Rawson. Now, let's get rid of him and get out of here. Now, wait, Mike. Let those cattle get a little farther down the draw. Roger's men should spot us up here. They can't see us. But if they hear the shots... We... All right, give him a minute or so. But no longer. I'm anxious to do this little job. There's one thing you haven't thought of. My body will be found up here, and the law's bound to catch up with murder. They'll never find your body, because it'll be in the bottomless well. Keep your eyes on him, Mike. When I give you the word, shoot. <laughs> Bell's doing fine, Dale. She's rolling up this hill just like she was on level ground. Oh, I hope we're not too late. Hey, there's field glasses in the door compartment. When we get to the top, you can sweep the whole draw on the slope and the bluff beyond it in a matter of seconds. Good, Pat. Sure, I got Nellie Bell equipped for everything. Now, hey, there's our cattle going through the draw now. There are two riders and there's bullets. Pat, Roy's not there. All right, scan over across the draw, quick. Oh, I'm shaking so I can hardly focus these glasses. I see two horses... Oh, Pat, there's Roy and that woman, and a man with his guns trained on Roy. Let's see. It's 500 yards downhill to the herd, and, and about another 500 up the slope to where Roy is. Now, he's calling the men. They couldn't hear us above the cattle, and we can't drive through the herd. Well, if there's just some way to get that gun slick off guard for just a second, Roy would know what to do then. At least he'd have a fighting chance. I've got it, Dale. My fireworks. Your fireworks? Sure. Pile out and help me set them off. I got skyrockets, screamers, rolling candles. We'll fire them off in front of the herd. Well, Pat, the herd will stampede. That's the idea. If we can just stampede them up the slope, that Randy and the gal are going to be thinking, first of all, on how to get out of there. And Roy and Trigger will take care of everything from then on. <laughs> Time for another Roy Rogers reminder. Always play fair. Yes, buckaroos, that's Roy's reminder for today. To be a good, upstanding citizen, you have to abide by the rules in everything you do, in your home, in school, or on the playground. It's a fact when you play fair, you can't go wrong. Be fair to yourself, too. Keep yourself healthy and strong. And talking about that, one of the best ways to do it is to eat plenty of good, nourishing food like grape nuts flakes, the cereal Roy likes best for building up strength and energy. Yes, kids, Roy eats Grape Nuts Flakes for energy. His picture's on every package. Roy likes those swell-tasting Grape Nuts Flakes because their whole wheat energy starts going to work for you just two minutes after you eat a big, multi-rich bowlful. That's energy you need for most everything you do during the day. And you like sugar-roasted Grape Nuts Flakes. They have a flavor that's multi-rich, makes them mighty good to eat. So if you want to be king of the cowboys in your corral, ask your mom to get you... Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal. Grape Nuts Flakes is one of the triple wrap post-cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. Let's get it over with. I'll plug him now. Well, wait till that herd gets just a little further, Mike. You aren't losing your nerve, are you, Miss Rawson? No, my father's life is going to cost you yours. Miss Rawson, if you don't give me the word, I'll shoot anyway. But wait. What was that? I don't know, but it's all I need. Mike, hang on to your gun. Try it. Plug him, Miss Rawson. Shoot him with his own gun. Let go. Now the other one. There. You took your eyes off me, Mike. That never pays. Don't try to pick up those guns, Roy. Stay where you are. I don't need guns. Him. Now, Miss Rawson... If you think you have a job to do, go ahead and do it yourself. All right, I will. Go ahead. You're the one that has the quarrel with me. Fight your own battles. I think you'd better pull those triggers, Miss Rawson. If you don't, all three of us are going to be trampled under those stampeding cattle. Stampede? Oh, they're plunging right at us. Get out of here if you can, Miss Rawson, but I'm taking your horse. Mike! Mike, no! Take your guns, Roy. Stop him. He'd be trampled under the herd. I wouldn't do that to any man. Trigger! Here, fast boy, come here. I can't. I, I can't run. You don't have to. Get up here on trigger. What? Come on. All right, I'll have to toss you on it. You try to save my life? Why not? Go ahead, trigger. Follow that black horse. If we can make the keyhole, we'll be safe. 
Mike's going to make it, but we can't. The trigger's faster than stampeding cattle. Even carrying up. Hang on, Mr. Ross. Mike's made it. He's through the opening. We will, too, in a few seconds. He'll shoot us when we ride through. He's desperate now. He can't do much shooting without guns. Go, Trigger. Come on, boy. Closer. We got here and Mike got here. And he hasn't much of any place to go. You want to shoot me now, Miss Rawson, or shall I take care of him first? <laughs> All right. Maybe that'll make you feel better. <laughs> now, Mike, off that horse. Rear up, you black devil. Lash out at him. Beat him off. You're not much of a horseman, Mike. I'll just pull you down and then pull you off. Yeah. I guess one punch wasn't enough to put you down for keeps. But I'll do it this time. Shoot, Miss Rawson. Shoot. I think she's changed her mind. There, we'll tie you up this time. Well, take it easy, miss, please. Roy, Roy, are you all right? We cut in behind the stampede, Roy, and we saw you ride through the keyhole. Boy, you just made it. Well, Black Mike's out of action for a while, but the girl and I are okay. I saw her send you that note, Roy, and then I found out what she was up to. Miss Farmer, I wish we were both men because I'd give you the worst thrashing now, you take ever Take it had. easy, Dale. She isn't Miss Farmer. She's Jane Rawson. Jane what? Rawson? Say, Pat, how about our cattle? It was lucky for me they stampeded, but we've got to help the men round them up again. Oh, they'll be all right, Roy. They, they charged right along the side of the bluff, and they were starting to slow down the circle as Dale and I came in here. All right, let's go. We'll get them started and headed on towards the terminal as soon as we can. <laughs> Roy, what about this girl and the man? We'll tie the man up. Throw him over that horse and lead him back down the slope. We'll meet you in the draw when we've taken care of the cattle. Miss Rawson, help Dale. Keep Mike covered. You gonna trust me to do that? Sure. Take your mind off of your troubles. Come along, Trigger. Let's go, Pat. Roy, sometimes I gotta tell you about that stampede. I got a package in the mail this morning. Well, Miss Rawson, are you gonna help me tie this gun slick? <laughs> yes, Miss Evans. Your scheme didn't work, did it? No, it didn't. I want you to tell me something. Why did you want to kill Roy after he saved your life this morning? He sent my father to prison. Dad died there. I know. Look, did you know your father was a rustler before Roy caught him? Oh, no. Your father wasn't young, Miss Rawson. He couldn't have lived forever, inside prison or out. And he owed society a debt. It just wouldn't have been right for him not to pay it. But when your whole life gets turned upside down, you... well, people can start thinking awfully wrong, can't they? Sometimes they can. I've ruined everything now. There's a wonderful boy back home. I, I just don't know what happened to me. There are a lot of wonderful people in this world. I think you ran across one today. I certainly did. I've never known a man like Roy Rogers before. Whatever he decides... Well, I'll take my medicine. Well, Roy will want to talk it over with you and the sheriff, Miss Rawson. Black Mike will go to prison because he's wanted for a string of crimes as long as this rope. I'll wind up in prison, too, I know. Maybe. You planned a terrible thing. But fortunately for you, it didn't quite happen. But you know there are things like suspended sentences and probations. Oh, but I... There, he's tied up. I guess we'll have to lift Black Mike up on the horse. He's still pretty groggy. Help me, will you, Jane? That's all for now, folks. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you, from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. The Roy Rogers Show was brought to you tonight by Post Grape Nuts Flakes, the great two-minute energy cereal. Grape Nuts Flakes is the cereal Roy likes best for strength and energy. Look for the picture of Roy and Trigger on the front of the package. The Roy Rogers Show can be heard again next week at this same time with Pat Brady, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An Art Rush production written and directed by Fran Van Hardisfeld with music by Milton Charles. Remember what Roy Rogers says, Post Sugar Crisp is the cereal treat that's fun to eat. Roy's right, fellas and gals, as a cereal it's dandy, with milk or cream. For snacks it's so handy, or you can eat it like candy right out of the box. 
Poe Sugar Crisp is excitingly new, deliciously different. Nourishing puffed wheat, candy coated with honey and sugar. Ask Mom to get Poe Sugar Crisp in the big red, white, and blue box with the three bears on the front tomorrow. Featured in today's cast were Frank Hemingway, Alvina Temple, and Tom Holland. This is Art Ballinger speaking for Post Grape Nuts Flakes. Stay tuned for the latest news brought to you by Log Cabin Syrup.